This portrait bust of King Louis XV of France was almost certainly intended to be displayed in a private home. Its original owner would probably have installed it where his or her guests would be impressed by their host's loyalty to the king. The creamy, glossy surface of faience fine, finely glazed earthenware, the material from which the sculpture was made, records the king's features and suggests the suit of armour he wears to symbolise his role as commander of the French military. Louis is wrapped in a flowing mantle and appears to gaze into the distance with pride and a certain satisfaction. His heavy-lidded eyes with their pierced pupils are prominent and his hair is effortlessly coiffed. A tamed lion peers coyly from around a shield at the foot of the plinth on which the bust rests. Louis XV, great-grandson of Louis XIV, reigned as King of France for nearly sixty years, between 1715 and 1774. Rising to the throne at the tender age of five, he was nicknamed Louis le Bien-Aimé, Louis the Much-Loved, during the early years of his sovereignty. Subsequently, however, Louis's popularity waned dramatically over the course of his largely ineffectual rule, during which the king seemed to be more confident in his dalliances with his many mistresses than in his capacity to oversee national policy and international affairs. For all his political difficulties, which included losing important colonies to Britain and launching France into several costly wars, Louis XV was a great patron of the arts. Along with his most famous mistress, Madame de Pompadour, Louis commissioned paintings, suites of furniture, and decorative objects from the country's most accomplished artists and artisans. When it came to decorating the spaces in which they lived and entertained, at Versailles, Fontainebleau, and other royal palaces, the king and his influential lover were just as interested in domestic comfort and functionality as they were in ornamental flourishes and lavish embellishments.